Alicia, you hit the nail on the head. That is right. And how much you give to people who you want to show that extra appreciation for, it's going to vary depending on the person. And it might change for you this year compared to last if your circumstances have changed. Because of the pandemic, certain industries and certain people should be getting a little bit more recognition this year. Also changing because of COVID-19 is how we should show our appreciation. Who's on your list? Who is really important to you? Uh, what is your budget and how can you use your words if you can't do a gift or tip? If you're like me, delivery drivers or people who work curbside pickup at grocery stores likely played a bigger role in your life in 2020 than they ever have before. If you're looking for a way to say thank you, consider a contactless gift in the $20 range. You know, I've heard of people handing over a few bucks or, or sometimes even taping it like in the trunk that you pop the trunk and then the money's there. And especially now, Metro Detroit servers like Patrick Foodie say an extra gesture, no matter how small, goes a long way. We take care of you all year long, like around the holidays, especially this year when we're not working, like uh, dining, uh, just to throw a little bit more cash our way if you can. You can also buy gift cards from your favorite restaurant. Some offer discounts or deals if you do. There are some industries, some places where they cannot accept gifts or cash. Like certain long-term care facilities or mail carriers, USPS workers can't accept cash or gifts more than $20 in value. Co-president of the Emily Post Institute, Lizzie Post, suggests that in that case, go for snacks or baked goods with a handwritten note. But make sure there's enough to be shared with coworkers and always leave a visible list of ingredients in case of allergies. And this year, prepackaged or individually wrapped items are best. A minority of people are tipping their trash and recycling collectors. Only about 40% of people typically do that. Cash tips for garbage or recycling collectors should generally be in the 10 to $30 range. For stylists or personal trainers and the like, cash gifts should be the value of one session or service. For babysitters, consider one night's pay. And for live-in caregivers or house cleaners, one week's pay. Etiquette experts can't drive home enough that if you don't have the financial means this year to give a cash tip, handwritten notes really do go a long way. And of course, we mentioned just a handful of individuals and industries you should be considering. There are plenty more, though. You can head to our website, WXYZ.com, for a link on guidance for many other people that you should give a little extra thought this holiday season. Reporting live this morning in downtown Detroit, Jen Shantz, 7 Action News. I'm